Yes. Okay. Sisi pun dah record. It's already eight. So jom kita start class. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Good evening everyone. Welcome to your last lot with me hari ini. Um, to those of you who don't know me, again, let me introduce myself. My name is Aina. You can call me miss. You can call me teacher. So before I start the class, I would like to remind you guys of the rules in my class. Teacher nak bagi tahu nak rima semua orang peraturan dalam kelas teacher. Teacher sebut laju-laju je. Sementara ada tu siapa yang belum prepare nota, make sure awak ambil masa ni untuk prepare Okay. All right. First of all, did you know, I remind everyone whatever it is that you guys can see on my TV, um, the scribbles, extra notes, ke apa apa lah. Wah, nampak kat TV di sini ni. Ah, jangan risau. Di sini dalam nota tak ada point. Don't worry. That means after the class, you will get all of these things. Dapat kat mana? Simply click download on your answer link and then everything will be there. Nanti kat MT Plus ada answer link. Kau klik je situ. Semua keluar. Tinggal download je. Okay. Number two, when I'm explaining things to you, let me finish. Once I'm done, if you still have any questions, then go ahead and ask. Jangan malu. A little reminder, please. If you're not that comfortable to use or ask me questions in English, don't be shy. You can free, feel free to use Malay. Okay? Jangan sebab awak tak, tak sure nak guna bahasa Inggeris, awak takut nak bertanya teachers soalan. Tanya. Jangan malu. Okay? Last but not least, please don't spam the chat box and stay respectful. Let's have a look at today's exercises. Okay. So macam biasa, you guys will do at a reading or paper one with me. Awak dengan teacher, kita buat paper one. So hari ni kita buat information transfer. So we have two exercises that we will do today. Remember, in your paper one, there are two parts that look like an information transfer section. Ah, okay, so akan ada dua bahagia yang rupa dia macam information transfer. Nama pun information transfer. Maksudnya buat apa? You read a text and then you answer a bunch of questions using the words in the text. Ah, itu je. Copy paste. Copy paste. So now, this is the two sections. These two sections are the parts where you guys should aim to get full marks. Ini lah dua bahagia yang mana anak-anak sekalian kena aim. Saya nak juga makan penuh. Tak kira. By hook or by crook, semua orang kena uh, kena aim dapatkan markah penuh. Okay? Ah, boleh. So kita ada dua. So nanti kita akan buat information transfer yang part three and then information transfer part Part four, just what four jumpo five. Part four, <laughs> okay. Part four. All right. So two ni kita akan ada. I need eight volunteers in total. I think. Sini empat, and then atas pun empat. I believe. So yes, I need eight volunteers in total. Ada pembedahan ke? Tak ada. Hari ni sebab kita buat information transfer tak ada benda benda lah. So I just need again. Di sini ada lapan volunteers. Sapu cepat dia dapat. Okay, saya akan, I call your, I will call out your names. I will click on the raise hand button. Teacher akan panggil sekejap lagi. I already have seven volunteers. I need only one more volunteer. Ah, dah cukup. Cukup, cukup, cukup di situ sahaja. Teacher dah cukup dah volunteers. I'll call out your names later. So to those of you who have raised your hands, let it be. Biarkan sahaja, kejap lagi teacher panggil nama awak, okay? Biar, jangan turunkan, okay? Right, anyway. Let us first go through some of the words in the first text. Jom, kita go through perkataan-perkataan dekat dalam text yang pertama dahulu. Tak banyak. The first text is quite easy. Um, so there are only two words that you may not know. Ramai yang tahu teacher percaya, tapi mungkinlah awak tidak tahu, so teacher sebutkan. Anyway, so please everyone, go to the second last paragraph. Saya ulang semula. Teks pertama, pergi dekat perenggan kedua terakhir. Okay, sudah? Line number, first of all, ada sedikit correction. Line number two, baris kedua. Okay. With such qualities, I will be a better person. <laughs> Instead of putting an I there, teacher pergi letak a slash. Maafkan teacher. Teacher awak pening, uh, mabuk dekat situ. So tolong betulkan. Okay. Sekejap eh. Ha. Teacher terbuat slash kan? Okay, so tolong betulkan. It should be an I there. Okay. Next. Okay, the first word, we have, still in the same paragraph, line number three, the word is chores. Chores bermaksud kerja-kerja yang tugas-tugas awak buat kat rumah tu. Contohnya, you sweep it, uh, sweeping the floor, taking out the, the, the rubbish or the trash. What else? Um, uh, doing the dishes, cleaning your room and whatnot. Uh, itu semua adalah kita panggil chores. Tugas-tugas awak buat kat rumah. 
Okay, next word. So there are only two words that you may not know. The second word is burden or burden. Maksudnya beban lah. Okay, burden bermaksud beban. That's it. The other words, I believe they are quite easy. But just in case, if there are any other words that you don't know, as your friends uh, as your friends read the paragraphs, sila highlight some of the words. Okay? Kawan baca kejap lagi, ada perkataan awak tak tahu, boleh tanya teacher. Highlightkan, okay? Don't worry. And to those of you who don't really understand English, jangan bimbang. Siapa yang ada mungkin ada masalah untuk faham bahasa English, jangan bimbang. Sekejap lagi, teacher akan explain the paragraphs to you guys. Okay? Teacher akan pegang tangan awak. Alright, so now we are going to start. Are you guys ready? Ready to go through the paragraphs? Semua orang pegang pens and pencils. Pegang pens and pencils. Eh, teacher lupa nak tanya. Kita pilih bunyi. Kejap lagi, if you have a question, state your question. If you don't have a question, okay, what sound effect do we want to use today? Uh, if you don't have a question for me later, say, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, kalau dah ready, check out ribbit dulu dekat, dekat chat box. How do we spell that? Teka lah. Eja lah macam mana pun, asalkan bunyi tu aja. <laughs> okay, so I see a lot of ribbits in the chat. So, jom kita start. Alright, paragraph one. Oh, lupa pula teacher nak panggil the volunteers. The first text is about why I prefer big families. Kenapa saya suka keluarga yang besar? Okay, so I'm going to call out the first four. Paragraph one will be read by Hazid Zikri. So, Hazid, awak peringan pertama. Paragraph two will be read by Peritika. Par uh, paragraph three will be read by Dania Darwisha. Paragraph four will be read by Farah Ainina. So, dekat paragraph, the first text ni, yang lain-lain, sekejap lagi teacher bagi, I'll, I will assign you guys with your paragraphs, okay? So, anyway, um, Hazik, nanti awak akan baca this paragraph and this paragraph, okay? Paragraph one and two, sebab dia pendek je. So, I'm going to combine these two. So, ini paragraph one. Okay, so nanti ini two, three, four. All right. So jump. Let me call out Hazik first. Hazik, unmute. Hazik. Oh, Hazik, are you there? Hazik, I can see that you have unmuted yourself. Mic test. Mic test. Ah, yo. Are the problem with the mic? Gitu. Test. Okay. Let me unmute you again. One second. Kita test lagi sekali. Kalau tak boleh, teacher panggil orang lain. All right. Unmute. Test, 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 testing, testing. Uh, I think that's a problem with your microphone, Hazik. So, teacher panggil orang lain eh. Kesian, Hazik. Uh, Hazik, cubalah dulu betulkan. Um, that means I'm going to call up Peritika, man. Right. And then after Peritika, we will have Dania Dawisha. Dania, get ready, okay? Peritika first. Peritika Sai. Hello. Wait, let me unmute you again. I don't know. I don't remember if I have unmuted you or not. Hi, very thick say. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Eh, mana dia? Mana dia tadi? Very thick. Are you there? Mike? Ha ha. Ada problem, Mike pula. <laughs> you guys, make sure before you guys volunteer, make sure your mic is okay, okay? Okay, teacher, panggil orang yang next pula. Uh, Dania Darwisha lah. Kurang ni comelnya lah. Dania? Yes, can you hear me? Okay, hi Dania. Uh, Dania, is it okay if I ask you guys, uh, if I ask you to read the first and the second paragraph? Will that be okay? Okay. Okay, go on that. This one and this one, okay? Go on. You may start. If given a choice, I prefer to come from a big family. In my mm. opinion, a big family is a happier family. As All a right. big family, I can have many playmates. We can do many things together. We can play indoor or we can play indoor and outdoor games, go for a swim, have a picnic, exercise, and watch movies together. Yes, <laughs> good job, Dania. Yeah. Thank you. Great job. Yeah. Okay, one second. Let me mute you and lower your hand. All right, so before we move on to the next paragraph, let us go through the, uh, let, me, let me explain the first two paragraphs, okay? Ah, sekejap, ya. Sekejap, sekejap. Okay, dengar dulu. Ya, 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 ya. I know that you guys are feeling very excited to read the paragraphs. 
sabar bawa bertenang. <laughs> Jom kita go through the first two paragraphs dulu ya. Alright, so the first paragraph, siapa yang tak faham dengar, okay? So dia cerita, if given a choice, maksudnya apa? Kalau saya ni diberi peluang, saya lebih gemar atau lebih prefer. Prefer tu maksudnya lebih gemar lah, lebih suka untuk datang daripada keluarga yang besar. Sebab apa? Pada pendapat penulis, pada pendapat dia ni lah penulis ni dia kata, a big family is a happier family. Keluarga yang besar itu adalah keluarga yang gembira, kata dia. Okay? Alright. So the next paragraph lagi dia sambung as a big family sebagai satu keluarga yang besar I can have many playmates apa maksudnya so dia kata kalau rasa kejap eh don't spam the chat box please aku out your name kejap lagi okay so dia kata yang kalau di keluarga dia besar nanti dia ada ramai geng nak main ha tak ya get kawan dengan orang lain boleh dengar adik beradik sendiri je okey teacher nak tanya sikit how many of you come from a big family teacher tanya sikit Siapa adik-beradik dia ada at least empat orang adik-beradik. Termasuk dia lah. Ha, maknanya, not one or two or three siblings but you have uh, more than that. Awak punya total adik-beradik at least ada empat. Oh, ramai. Oh, ada yang enam. Sejak tanya sikit, siapa yang adik-beradik dia sepuluh orang? Kukul lah. Oh, ya ada, ada nine. Oh my God. Nine siblings in total. That's a lot of siblings. Oh, best nya. I actually come from a big family as well, uh, but different mothers. <laughs> yeah, teacher ada ada beradik yang ramai cuma berlainan mak. Paham paham lah maksudnya apa. So it's quite fun. It is fun when you have a lot of uh, siblings. Rono sebenarnya bila awak ada beradik ramai ni, especially bila awak anak last, sebab awak macam Orang lain buat kerja, kita duduk diam-diam. Kakak-kakak <laughs> buat kerja, kita duduk diam-diam je. Ha, pandang. Ha, kita macam tuan putri lah. Kita kat rumah macam tuan putri sikit. Masa kecil-kecil lah, dah besar ni tak adalah tuan putri sangat kan. <laughs> Alright, so dia cerita lagi. We can do many things together. Boleh buat macam-macam benda sama-sama. Boleh main games. Dia kata boleh main game indoor games, outdoor games. Apa tu? Maknanya main game yang main game dekat dalam rumah, main game yang dekat luar rumah. Boleh swimming sama-sama. Lagi boleh picnic. Lagi boleh exercise. Lagi boleh tengok movies. Ha, itu je dia cerita. Okay? So now, let's move on to the next paragraph. Okay? Uh, teacher panggil Peritika. Let's try again. Hi, Miss. Hello. Okay, are you ready to read the third paragraph for me? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's go. In a big family, I can get help with my studies. Mm. I am quite weak, especially in mathematics. Go I on. really need help in this subject. With brothers and sisters, I can get their help while, do, while doing my mathematics homework. Yes. All right. Good job. Thank you, Peritika. One Thank second. Miss. No problem. Let me mute you and lower your hand. So, perenggan ni pula dicerita apa lagi? Uh, teacher dah, by the way, teacher panggil yang nama yang dah angkat tangan ni ya, siapa ikut turutan. Ini pun dah terlebih dah sebenarnya ni. All right. So, in this paragraph, dia cerita, dia sambung lagi. Kenapa dia nak big family? So, dia cerita, in a big family, I can help get help with my studies. Bila keluarga besar, dia kata, bila nak study tu, ada orang boleh tolong. Ah Macam tu, dia cerita lagi yang dia ni lemah sikit. In mathematics, dia cerita. I really need help with the subject. Oh, lemah betul. Sampai perlukan sangat bantuan dekat sini. Abang saya tak tolong pun, kata putri. <laughs> Sorry lah eh. Kalau awak dapat adik-beradik yang tak nak tolong, tak sudi nak tolong tu. Mungkin sebenarnya bukan dia tak nak tolong. Mungkin dia pun tak tahu nak jawab soalan tu sebenarnya. Jadi awak kena redor lah. <laughs> okay, lagi. With brothers and sisters, I can get their help while doing my mathematics. Homework. Jadi tak adalah. Have you guys ever gone through this? I'm sure you guys have. You do a certain homework. Tak kisahlah whatever subject that is. You do that homework and then suddenly you come across uh, a challenge or this obstacle. Oh my God, I don't know how to answer this question. But no one is here to help me. Susah. Ah, dah sudah. Soalan ada lagi 20 soalan tak jawab lagi ni. Baru soalan nombor 2 dah tak reti ni. Macam mana nak siap? 
Ha, lepas tu nangis lah berkumpul-kumpul seseorang dekat atas meja belajar tu. Saya pun tak tolong ni. Ada dua puluh soalan lagi. Ha, nangis. Tapi when you have siblings, it's easier. You can just ask them. Mudah sikit lah kot kan. Ha, kalau dapat siblings yang function lah. Yang sudi nak membantu. Kalau macam putri, abang kakak dia tak mau tolong. Ha, jadi dia duduklah siang senyap-senyap kat situ. Okay. Jom, kita sambung the next one. Where will we? This paragraph, paragraph four. Um, who will read it? Farah Ainina. After that, uh, we will have the last paragraph will be read by Ashvindran. So Ashvindran, you get ready, okay, for the last paragraph. Let's go with Farah first. Farah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. Farah, my test first. I think right now your voice sounds fair. Can you please bring the mic closer to your mouth, please? Teacher, can you hear me? Ah, no, I can. Are you ready, Farah? Wait, wait, wait. It's okay now. Much clearer. Much clearer. Okay. Let's go. Um, being in a big family can help me to develop a good character. I can mm -hmm. learn values such as give and take, respect and understanding, and passion. With such qualities, I will be a better person. Moreover, we can also share our our chores, chores and responsibilities, burdens and good times. This will make us a strong family. Yay! Good job. Thank you, Farah. Okay, one second. Let me lower your hand. So in this paragraph, siapa yang tak faham, dengar lagi sekali, let me explain to you. So the cerita yang, when you are, when you are born into a big family like this, it helps you to develop your character. Dia bantu awak, maknanya awak ada ramai orang yang akan bantu awak untuk ada character awak yang tersendiri. Ah, Because what, why? Because you have your brothers and sisters. You look up to them, awak tengok mereka, mungkin mana yang perangai yang elok tu, awak ambil. Yang perangai tak senonoh tu, jangan ikut. Contoh, ah, macam putri tadi, abang kakak dia tak rajin nak tolong buat homework, ah, jangan ikut yang tu. Okay? <laughs> yang baik kita ambil, yang tak baik kita tak tepi. Ah, macam tu. Okay? Lagi dia cerita, I can learn values, nilai-nilai such as give and take. Apa maksud give and take? Macam toleransi. Okay? It's like toleransi. Maknanya awak uh, betul ansur lah. Ah, lagi, Respect and understanding, awak uh, belajar hormat orang, memahami orang, and patience. Apa maksud patience? Ha, rasa sabar tu lah. Burden tu apa? Burden tadi maksudnya adalah beban. Okay? Lagi, dia cerita lagi, bila kita ada these qualities, quality-quality uh, ataupun traits ini, saya akan jadi a better person. Develop tu apa? Maksudnya membina. Okay, develop a good character, membina karakter yang baik. So, lagi dia cerita, selain daripada ada orang, bila you have a big family, you ada develop, you dapat develop good character, a good character. Lagi dia tambah lagi point. Other than that, dia kata when you have a big family ni, you can share your chores and your responsibilities. Cuba bayangkan kalau you only have two siblings. Ataupun maknanya there's only you and one other brother or maybe a sister. Dua orang je. Jadi kerja-kerja kat rumah tu yang tolong mak dengan ayah tu awak berdua je. Ah, maksudnya contohlah ada ten chores, bahagi dua seorang lima. But when you come from a huge family, imagine if you have ten siblings in total. Maknanya seorang satu je. Ayang dia kerja dia buang sampah je. Ayang dia kerja dia sapu sampah. Ayang dia kerja dia muap je. Kan mudah. Ah, macam tu lah masa dia. You get to share the chores and the responsibility. Anissa kata, I'm an only child. Anak tunggal. Kesian. So everything is on your shoulder. Kesiannya. Alright, lagi. Dia cerita lagi. Ah, Perbeden. Maksudnya beban tu lah. Beban tadi pun And good times pun Benda yang baik Benda yang buruk Semua awak share sama-sama Okay So habis Kita pergi dekat The last paragraph Are you guys ready? Develop tu membina ke? Ya yeah. Alright Shall we go to the last paragraph? Let's go Siapa tadi? Um, Ashvindrit Okay Ashvindrit Hello Hi teacher Are you ready? 
Yes, I should can. drink. Okay, let's go. Of course, I have to share a bedroom, the bathroom, our books, and the food in the kitchen. But mm. I do not mind as long as I have a happy family. A happy family is more important than money or having many friends. Best of all, brothers and sisters can make good friends too. Yes. All right. Good job, Ashvindrin. Thank you. Okay, one second. Let me. Okay, you have already lowered your hand. So last paragraph. Dengar betul betul. So dicerita lagi. So uh, even though you have all of these advantages, these benefits of having or coming from a big family, dia tahu yang ada downside. Downside tu maksudnya kekurangannya. Kekurangannya apa? Semua benda awak kena share lah. You have to share the bedroom. You have to share the bathroom. Toilet kena share. Bilik tidur kena share. Ha, yang kalau dia beradik ramai tu, malam-malam buat parti. Cucuk bintang. Ha, mak suruh tidur, dia ada malam-malam bercucuk bintang nama ramai kat dalam bilik. Ha. Tapi macam seronok kan? That kind of sounds fun. I'm not going to lie. Macam seronok je. Ha, lompat-lompat atas katil. Katil tu buat patutnya boleh tahan 10 tahun tapi sebab masing-masing. Ha, tak padan dengan baby gajah Main lompat-lompat atas katil Setahun dah jahanam dah kerusi tu Kerusi pula Hilang <laughs> tu Marah mak penat mak beli Alright lagi um, Dia kata lagi um, This author says that Even though he or she has to Share these things He doesn't mind Or she doesn't mind Sebab apa? Pada dia ada satu keluarga yang happy ni Lagi best Daripada It's a lot more important Than having money Uh, then having a lot of friends sebab blood is thicker than water. Uh, air dicincang takkan putus. Kawan ni, bila kita berkawan, memang kita rapat dengan orang tu. Tapi macam mana sekalipun, keluarga lebih penting. At the end of the day, when we go through something terrible, our family will be the one who will help us. Keluarga tu yang akan datang, tolong kita dahulu. Kawan-kawan belum tentu akan datang. Okay, kalau kawan tu sahabat sejati, your your closest friend or your best friend, yes, maybe he or she will be there. But our family will be there first. Okay, so keep that in mind. Develop, what is develop? Membina. Membina. Okay, kalau ada buat sekali yang you guys terlepas, kita dah sebut tadi, nanti boleh buka kamus, okay? So right now, kita dah habis. Um, let us go to the questions. Siapa tadi dia kata mak dia kirim salam tadi? I, I saw a message just now. Mak Adif. Waalaikumsalam, Puan. Take care, Puan. Jaga diri. Oh, gitu. Suwe tak, teacher. <laughs> All right. Any questions before we move on to the questions? Ada soalan tak? Before kita pergi tengok soalan sama-sama? Tak ada? All right. Let's go through the questions. I'd like to remind everyone of one thing before we go to the questions. Please, whatever you do, Make sure that you read the instruction first. Apa pun jadi, make sure baca arahan. This is important. Sometimes they want you to answer the questions with just three words or sometimes they want you to answer the questions with no more than five words. Biasanya yang bahagian information transfer yang pertama tu dia nak tiga perkataan, tak lebih tiga perkataan. Information transfer yang kedua tu biasanya dia akan kata no more than five words. But still, Just read the question. Sorry, just read the instruction to be safe. Okay, so I need enough. No more than three words. So let's go through the questions. Number one or number seventeen. I need to write down in the paper one lah. So number seventeen. Number of reasons in favor of a of a big family. Apa maksudnya? Berapa banyak sebab yang penulis bagi untuk menyokong sebab yang dia ni nak pilih keluarga yang besar lagi suka keluarga besar how many reasons in total did the, the did the writer or the author give berapa total cuba kira kira betul betul i give you a little hint read everything carefully ah in favor of the maksudnya yang menyokong lah yang men, yang menyepot <laughs> suka tbm jumpa bi yang menyokong yang support Okay, so how many are uh, how many reasons? Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The answer is there are five reasons in total. Sebenarnya ada lima. Okay, yang jawab empat tu, kita faham kenapa. You missed the one in the first paragraph. Jom, let's highlight. 
the clues. Ah, uh, dekat dalam exam buat benda ni ya. Eh. Highlight clue awak. Highlight tu maksudnya tanda lah. Tak semestinya kena pakai highlighter sebab awak tak boleh bawa highlight kan. So tanda garis ke letak put a bracket ke tak kisah. So jom let's highlight the clues. Okay number one ini. Dia kata a big family is a happier family. That's number one. Number two. I can have many playmates. That's number two. Number three. I can get help with my studies. Number four. Develop, help me to develop a good character. Number five, ni, we can also share our chores, responsibilities, blah, blah, blah. Sampai good time soon. So there are five reasons in total. Ada lima sebenarnya. Okay, is that clear? Kalau terlepas mana yang teacher highlight tu, nanti lepas kelas boleh, boleh download. Okay, shall we go to the next question? Kasih okay, kasih? Ah, teacher nampak muka kasih, so teacher tanya kasih lah. Teacher tanya lagi siapa yang teacher tak high ni? Shifa, Amir Firdaus, lagi siapa tu? Cita hai, Aisyah Maisara, Peritika, Liana, Sofia. Okay, masa teacher yang on camera lah. Teacher Marajin Hai yang on camera. Okay, jom. Let's go to the next question. Types of games mentioned by the writer. So, apa jenis-jenis permainan yang writer tu ada sebut? Your, let me give you a little hint. The hint is in the uh, the clue is in the second paragraph. Ah, uh, cuba hint sikit. Clue awak ada kat perenggan kedua. Ding ding. Ha. This about dua jenis games, dua jenis permainan. What are they? Ten. Remember, no more than three words. Jangan lebih tiga perkataan. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hi Asma. Two, one. The answer is indoor and outdoor. To go, okay. Ini, it's this part right here. Let's highlight that one. Indoor, we can play indoor and outdoor games. Dia tanya berapa jenis uh, permainan kita ada. Okay, tak apa raja kita boleh teruskan majlis ilmu. Ah, uh. right. So again, indoor and outdoor. Dua jenis. So you guys tulis itu sahaja. Indoor and outdoor. The word games, you do not need to write that down. Boleh tinggalkan. Okay. Indoor and outdoors. Okay. Miss, dia bukan lebih three words ke? Tidak, Auni. Auni cuba baca balik soalan. Ha. Baca balik arahan. Okay, let's move on to number 19. School subject, the writer needs help with. Ha. So apa jawapan? Miss, kalau tulis indoor comma outdoor, boleh ke? Boleh diterima. Okay. Please make sure that you write the full name. Eja penuh. Okay. Jangan eja pendek eja. Alright. What's the answer? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is mathematics. Make sure you spell it correctly. Jangan eja math sahaja. Okay. It's mathematics. With an S. Kena ada S, eh? Sepatutnya ada S. Mathematics. Where's your clue? It's in the text paragraph, which is in paragraph three. It's right here. I am quite weak, especially in mathematics. There you go. Okay. Boleh, eh? Hmm. Apa jadi kalau no more than three? Ah, salah lah jawapan. It's no more. Kena jawapan awak. Kena make sure no more than three words. Okay. All right. Next. Number 20, 21, and 22. So the question is, good qualities the writer can gain. Apa maksudnya? Apa nilai-nilai yang baik uh, penulis boleh dapat? You can get the answer still from this uh, from this text. What are they? Ada tiga kat sini. Asalkan setiap satu ni. So each of them, no more than three words. Ini tak boleh lebih tiga, tak lebih tiga, tak lebih tiga. All right. So what are they? 10 seconds. Eh. Anda teacher, the first one dulu lah. 20 dulu. Okay, send me the answer for the first one. Number 20. No more than three words, eh? Tak lebih tiga. Kalau if you can write the full answer with three words, then write the full answer. Translation. Selagi mana awak boleh tulis jawapan penuh dia menggunakan tiga perkataan, maka tulislah perkataan penuh dia, jawapan penuh dia. Kalau tak muat jawapan penuh dia tiga perkataan, awak tulis jawapan pendek dia. Okay, so number 20 first. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the answer is give and take. What's the next one? Number 21. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exactly. Respect and understanding. And the last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's patience. Kasabaran. All right, so these are your three answers. Where are your clues? One second. It's in this paragraph, paragraph four. Learn values such as give and take, respect and understanding, and patience. So that's your clue. Bye-bye. Shall we go to the next Question, bolehkah kita pergi soalan yang seterusnya? I think it's the last question. Yes, it is. All right. Things less important than having a happy family. So apa dua benda yang the writer said that they are less important, they are not as important as having a happy family. What were what were the two things yang dia sebut? Okay, go on. Ten. Hantar kat teacher dua-dua terus lah sebab jawapan dia pendek je kan? The two answers. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, everyone. The answer is, the first one is money. Eh, eh. The stock pula. Money. The second one is having many friends. If you just write many friends, that will still be acceptable. Oh, ada tak many friends sahaja pun diterima. Okay. That's it. And we are done with the first exercise. I'm going to ask everyone, how did you do? Okay, good. Okay, daddy. Okay, girl. It's okay. If you got, even if you got all of them wrong, but then you tried, you did your best. Congratulations. Salah semua tapi kita mencuba tetap juga tanya. Okay. Miss Jiran Miss dah tak bising ke? <laughs> Hanon tanya Jiran tak bising ke? Dah malam Hanon. Mana boleh bising? <laughs> okay. Kalau dia bising, kita boleh buat complain. Uh, okay. Jom. Let's go to the next text. Are you guys ready? Kita nak tengok text yang terusnya. Dipanggil Essence of Dancing. By Boba Manja. Uh, apa maksud essence of dancing tu? Maksudnya intipati. Maksudnya benda yang penting dalam tarian. Oh gitu. So, as usual, I'm going to need four volunteers. Empat orang. I know that I have a lot of volunteers right now. Kita ada terlebih volunteers. Teacher panggil the first four lah. Siapa cepat dia dapat lah. Sekejap uh, teacher bagi sebut nama dulu. So, the first four students that I have here are Siapa cepat dia dapat eh? Uh, paragraph 1 will be read by, paragraph 1 and 2 will be read by Kasi. So Kasi, you will read this one and this one. Okay. Paragraph 3 will be read by Putri. Paragraph 4 will be, will, will be read by Amira Elfina. Paragraph 5, the last one will be read by Amirul Razli. Okay, so teacher tahu ada ramai yang kat tangan kat sini. I'm so sorry. Saya ambil mana yang siapa cepat dia dapat. Eh? So anyway, before I call out the volunteers, let us go through the words that I have already highlighted for you guys. Ada banyak sikit kat sini. Kalau awak tahu, you don't need to write the meanings or the translations. If you don't know, if you already know them, you don't need to write, the, the, write down the translations. But kalau tak tahu, if it's a new word for me, then please write them down. Tolong tulis. Okay. So number one, paragraph one. We have the word ritual. Bahasa Melayu pun kita panggil ritual. A ritual is basically, or it refers to like a set of actions that someone does 
Um, and it's usually related to religion or maybe like a ceremony and whatnot. Okay. Sembah setan, tak semestinya. A ritual does not necessarily related to uh, Satanism. Asalkan benda tu uh, berkaitan dengan uh, a set of actions, satu set perbuatan yang kita buat untuk sesuatu upacara, itu kita panggil a ritual. Okay. Bahasa Melayu dia pun ritual juga sebenarnya. Alright, next we have the word recreation. Recreation. What does it mean? Riyadah. Rekreasi ataupun riyadah. Again, rekreasi ataupun riyadah. Next, we have the word very. Kejap-kejap, ni takut ada yang tak tahu pula. Western influenced bermaksud yang dipengaruhi daripada barat lah. Influenced bermaksud dipengaruhi. So, Western influenced dipengaruhi daripada barat. Dari barat ke daripada barat? Daripada sekolah sampai sekarang. Confused je dari dengan daripada tu. Okay, and then we have the word very, very pula. Very, very means berbeza-beza. Again, berbeza-beza. Alright. Um, ya, awak tak, kalau awak nampak kat sini, very from jive, country swing, disco to many more. These are just types of dances. Jenis-jenis tarian, itu je lah. Okay. Nanti nak tahu apa benda jive, country, swing, disco tu. Boleh google lah tengok rupa dia macam mana. Tapi these are just types of dances. Jenis-jenis tarian. Okay. Alright. Lagi. We have. Tadi ada orang tanya teacher. Ethnic tu apa? Ethnic. Bahasa Melayu ni ethnic. E-T and I-K. Ni. Cengkawung, blah, blah, blah tu. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, and then. We have. Still in the same line. Folk dance. Tarian rakyat. Uh, yang tarian rakyat. Okay, next. Uh, done. I'm so sorry. I'm sure that I'm going to butcher the, the, the pronunciation. Baratanatiam. I'm so sorry. Confirm teacher salah sebut. Okay, but this is a type of dance as well. Okay. Okay, lagi. Um, the second paragraph, we have the word invigorates. Kalau awak dah terlepas, nanti boleh buka kamus, okay? Invigorates. Maksudnya, it gives you um, energy. It energizes you. Uh, bukan energizer battery tu, eh? And then uh, it energizes you. Maksudnya, dia bagi awak tenaga lah. Okay? And then, the third paragraph. The word is conditioner. This is not the conditioner that you put on your hair, okay? <laughs> conditioner maksudnya, it tones your body. So, in this sentence, dia kata, dancing is a great body conditioner. Maksudnya, bila kita menari, dia boleh tone badan kita. Tone maksudnya, bantu membentukkan badan kita lah macam tu lah. Itu maksud dia, okay? It tones your body. Right, lagi. Still in the same paragraph. Line number three, one, two, three. Kat belakang kanan sikit. We have words like stretching. Stretching means meregak. And you guys were stretching before your exercise today. And then we have bending. Bending is when you like bengkok and lentur-lenturkan badan tu. That is bending. Bengkok-bengkok tu. Rotating. Pusing, 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 pusing. That is rotating. All right. And then still in the same paragraph, the last line, we have the word fluid. Bukan fluid air tu ya, atau cecair ya. Fluid manner, maksudnya pergerakan tu macam smooth je. Ha, orang kalau menari, dia punya tangan tu lembut kan. Ha, macam tangan teacher kasar. Ha, Malum lah, tak berbakat menari. Ha, tapi people who can dance, their manners or their mannerism tu per -per pergerakan badan dia lebih lembut je. Macam tu. Okay, and then we have the word flexibility. Flexibility tu maksudnya dia fleksibel lah. Mudah lentur, mudah anjal. Okay, dapat? Shall we go to the next paragraph? Boleh? Alright. Barati, are you okay? Nah, teacher sebut nama randomly. Okay, next. We have the word in the first line. The word is exertion. Exertion is, uh, simply means or has the same meaning as the word effort. The physical exertion, the physical effort. Okay, dah, dah baik. Effort. And then, still in the same paragraph, the word in the last line, we have grace, poise, and posture. Grace dengan poise ni, they are basically the same thing. Maksudnya sama je lah. Maksudnya merujuk kepada yang awak punya gaya lemah lembut awak tu. Grace and poise merujuk kepada gaya lemah lembut awak. Okay. Alright, lagi. Posture, 
posture tu posture lah bahasa Melayu pun posture maksudnya yang awak punya posture badan tu. Dah dengar kan? Sebab dalam bahasa Melayu pun kita panggil posture juga postur. P O S T U R if I'm not mistaken. So posture refers to awak punya kedudukan badan awak tu, tegak je. Tegak ke bongkok ke? I'm quite I I have a hunch. Teacher ni bongkok sikit. Some people have really good posture. I don't. I hunch a little. Alright. And the last paragraph, rengan terakhir, tiga je lagi. Okay, second line, we have the word enables. Enables means membenarkan atau membuatkan. Okay, as a social activity, it enables us to meet people. Okay, dia membuatkan kita, dia membenarkan kita, memberi kita peluang. That's basically what it means. Okay, membenarkan atau beri peluang. Alright, still in the same line, line number two. Word, the word is various, various, various means pelbagai. Again, various means pelbagai. And the last one, second last line, baris kedua terakhir, socialize. Bermaksud bersocial. Socialize, bersocial. Okay. Dan habis, penat je go through satu-satu. <sighs> Jom, let's go through or let's read the paragraphs together. Mana-mana yang awak terlepas, nanti buka kamus, okay? Kalau teacher ulang lagi, nanti kan tak sempat nak habis kelas kita ni. So, siapa tadi? Who are my volunteers? The four volunteers? Kasih, Putri, Amira Elfina and also Amiro Razli. Alright, let's go with uh, Kasih first. Putri, get ready, okay? Kasih. Yes. Hi. Okay, are you ready to read the first paragraph for me? Yes. Let's go. Dance can be an art, a ritual, or a recreation. Different mm. cultures have different dances. Mm. Western influence dances vary from jive country swing, disco, to many more. Good. In Malaysia, there are ethnic dances such as the Malay folk dance, joget, Chinese fans dance, and Indian classical dance, Baratan, Baran, Baratan Natyam, I guess. Baranatyam. <laughs> Lari tu. <laughs> Baratan Natyam. Sorry eh, kalau kita orang salah sebut, so sorry. I'm sure that we are mispronouncing the name. We are so sorry. But I think it's Baratan Natyam, I think. All right, thank you. Kasih. All right, done. One second. Good job, Kasih. Kasih. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Oh, one second. Let me lower your hand. All right. So, teacher, again, let me explain the paragraph. Siapa yang tak faham tadi boleh dengar, okay? So, dia cakap dekat in the first paragraph, SMP talks about, dia cerita pasal different dances. So, dia kata tarian ini, any kind of dances ni boleh jadi satu bentuk seni. It can be an art. It can be a ritual. Boleh jadi satu bentuk ritual. Boleh juga satu bentuk, jadi satu bentuk riada. Yelah, bakarkan, bakarkan kalori, keluarkan peluh. Okay, so di cerita, different cultures have different dances. Lain budaya, lain tarian dia, betul tak? Ha, so dia kata, kalau yang daripada barat tu, ah, di ceritalah apa jenis-jenis tarian yang ada. Tapi in Malaysia, kita ada different ethnic dances. Ada banyak, kita kat Malaysia ni ada pelbagai kaum, ada pelbagai ethnic, betul? So different ethnic, uh, different ethnicity, different races, have different kinds of dances. So di ceritalah apa dances yang kita ada, itu je. Okay, so let's go to the next paragraph. Oh, lupa tadi dah minta tolong. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, tadi sepatutnya kasih teacher minta tolong dibaca yang the second one. Teacher lupa lah. Tak apalah. Teacher panggil yang the next one, bacakan Putri. So Putri, help me read the second and the third paragraph. Putri. Hi, Miss. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Can you help me read the two paragraphs? Is that okay? Paragraph uh, two and three. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Sure. Uh, dancing has so many benefits to offer. It invigorates mm -hmm. us physically, mentally, and socially, besides being a good exercise. Good. Dancing is a great body conditioner, if, even if it is done on a near-weekly basis. If done regularly, such as two to three times a week, it becomes a beneficial workout. This is because dancing involves moving our bodies, such as stretching, bending, rotating, jumping, or any physical actions in different dynamics. As a result of years of dancing, dancers walk and move in a more balanced as well as more fluid manner with great flexibility in movement. All right, good job. Thank you again, Putri. All right, let's 
um, go through the paragraph again. So dengan betul-betul siapa yang mungkin belum faham tadi. So dia ceritalah in the second paragraph that it has many benefits. Bila kita menari ni ada banyak manfaat dia. So dia apa antara manfaat dia? Dia invigorates bagi energi dekat kita in terms of dari sudut physical bagi energi dari segi physical kita, mental kita dan dari sudut kita punya social lah sebab kita menari dengan orang lain uh, dan dia juga adalah satu bentuk uh, exercise yang baik, senaman yang bagus. Ah, uh, That's the second paragraph. The next paragraph, dia cerita lagi. Physically, dancing is a great body conditioner. When we dance, bila kita menari, Tarian tu akan bantu tone badan kita, bantu membentukkan badan kita. That's basically what the sentence means, okay? Even if, walaupun kita menari tu bukanlah hari-hari, ah, hampir hari-hari pun benda tu membantu juga. So, dia kata, kalau kita men, uh, buat secara regularly, secara tetap, contohnya seminggu, two to three times a week, ah, boleh jadi satu a beneficial workout. So, siapa kat sini yang rajin menari, So, dia jadi benda yang baik untuk awak. Satu bentuk senaman yang bagi manfaat dekat badan awak. Ah, teacher tak pandai menari. Teacher kongkang. Teacher lah manusia yang tak pandai menari itu. Sedih sikit lah. Menari saja-saja tu ah, sama lah. Tapi yang menari betul-betul tu berbakat tu, maaf lah tak berbakat. Some people are just not born to dance. Sedih kan? Nak buat macam mana? Redo je lah. Kita menari dalam bilik je lah. Bukanlah nak tunjuk dengan orang kan. Maklumlah kalau teacher menari kan bergegar pula rumah kan. Risau. Okay, sambung. <laughs> Alright, this is because kenapa dia kata dancing can help tone your body or it can be a good exercise. Kenapa? Boleh jadi senaman yang bagus. Sebab bila you menari, when you dance, you do uh, all sorts of movements. Awak buat pelbagai bentuk pergerakan. Sebab tu lah dia kata benda tu bagus. Okay? Lagi dia cerita. As a result or uh, as a result of years of dancing, dancers walk and move in a more balanced and fluid manner. So orang yang penari-penari ni kalau perasan badan dia bentuk lain sikit and cara dia orang berjalan tu posture pun cantik je. Ah uh, kalau teacher ni bongkok tapi yang the dancers, you can see that the way that they move, the way that they walk, the their, their posture Cantik je. Ha, elok je dia orang punya posture badan dan cara berjalan tu. It's because um, it's because of the years of dancing. Sebab dia orang menari bertahun-tahun tu. Ha, that's basically what the, uh, the third paragraph is about. Okay, dah faham tak? Shall we move on to the next paragraph? Boleh kita pergi perenggan yang seterusnya? Kesian kita yang tak bertalent ni, Miss. Itulah Liana. Fun fact. Um, my siblings have um, a certain kind of, all of my siblings are talented when it comes to art. Eh, ada yang pandai melukis, ada yang pandai buat makeup. I have three sisters who can do uh, bridal makeup. Ada yang pandai kupah bunga, ada yang pandai berhias, ada yang pandai menjahit. Sampai dekat teacher, satu haram benda seni pun tak ada timbuan. Dulu time sekolah, My artwork, siapa buatkan? Kakak teacher buatkan. Marilah kita sabung ya. Sedih sangat hidup tu kan. Orang lain semua berbakat. Teacher seorang je tak ada. Let's move on to the next paragraph. Uh, we have Amira. After Amira, we will go with Amira. Amira, get ready, okay? Amira. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. The... Physical exertion mm. and atmosphere of dancing create one of the most effective ways of stress release. A mm. busy day of pleasure disappears when the evening brings release to dancing. The mm. fun of learning to dance improve every aspect of our daily life not yes. only we happier and healthier we will also gain more self-control in everything that we do learning to dance help us to increase our 
Grace, Force, and Posture. Good job. All right. Thank you so much, Amira. Okay. So, jump. Sampai tak faham tu? Dengarkan teacher explain. So, dicerita lagi. The physical exertion. Maksudnya apa? Effort awak dari segi physical nak menari tu. The atmosphere, suasana awak sewaktu menari tu. Ini semua adalah satu cara yang efektif untuk stress release. Untuk awak tenangkan diri. Untuk awak um, distress. Buangkan segala stress yang awak rasa. Ah, Dia cakap macam tu lagi. Ah, bila awak a busy day of pressure. You know when you have a lot of homework, ini especially to uh, ini penting untuk yang suka menari lah. Uh, to those of you who love to dance, when you have a busy day at school and you have a lot of homework to do, and then you take maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes out of your day to dance for a bit, mesti you rasa macam, ha, huh, leganya. Ah, uh, macam tu untuk yang berbakat lah. Untuk yang tak berbakat macam teacher tu, kita buat benda lain lah ya. Buatlah benda yang awak rasa berbakat dengan benda tu. Okay, lagi ni cerita lagi. Uh, bila you belajar menari ni, it improves every aspect of our daily life. Bila awak belajar menari, awak bukan saja improve awak punya dancing, awak improve juga lain-lain aspek dalam hidup awak. Uh, mungkin your discipline pun akan uh, uh, meningkat, mungkin you punya health pun akan meningkat juga, le- akan improve lebih baik. Uh, macam itulah maksud dia. Okay. So, dia, sebab tu dia cerita kat sini, you will be happier and healthier lagi, you will also gain more self-control in everything that you do. Bila you belajar menari, you happy, you have, uh, you juga healthy, sehat, dan awak belajar ada self-control. Belajar kawal diri. Ah, itu dia kata lagi. Learning to dance helps us to increase our grace, poise and posture. So, bila awak menari juga, awak belajar untuk macam lemah lembutkan diri awak tu sedikit dan perbaiki posture badan awak tu tadi. Okay? So that's the la- the third paragraph. Let's move on to the last paragraph. Ready, eh? Okay, siapa tadi yang akan tolong teacher? Amirul. Okay, Amirul. Yuhu. Hello, Amirul, are you there? Uh, hi, are you ready to help me read the last paragraph? Uh, insyaAllah, insyaAllah. Ready, ready, ready. Insyaallah. Okay, do. You can do this. <coughs> Dancing, dancing is the most dancing is the most common creative inter training and relaxing and a relaxing activity that interests all age. Uh, as a social activity, uh, it enables us to meet people from various background background. Background. Social dancing, for example, is a group dance that enables to us socialize while have having fun. Mm. It the best way to meet new friend beside developing a new hobby. Yes, all right, good job. Thank you, Amiro. Okay, done. So I'm gonna lower everyone's hands. Thank you kepada yang volunteer, tapi tak sempat baca tadi. But still, thank you sebab volunteer. So right now, jom kita jawab yang terakhir ni. Uh, explain yang terakhir ni. So dia kata the the author Bobo Manjah kata dancing ni is the most creative satu bentuk aktiviti yang sangat kreatif, yang sangat menghiburkan dan menenangkan kata dia lagi. As a social activity, it enables us to meet people from various backgrounds. Betul tak? Bila awak pergi kelas nari lah contohnya, awak jumpa orang macam-macam latar belakang. Betul? Dia ni daripada mana? Dia ni daripada mana? Ha, itulah maksudnya. Lagi, social dancing, for example, is a group dance that enables us to socialize while having fun. So, ada sejenis tarian yang berkumpulan ni, ha, benda tu akan bagi kita peluang untuk bersocial sambil-sambil berserono. It is the best way to meet new friends besides developing a new hobby. So, itu satu cara yang, so tarian ni satu cara yang bagus untuk awak jumpa kawan-kawan baru dan juga ada hobi baharu. Ha, itulah dia. Dah habis. Penat TJ explain? Penat juga kawan-kawan nak awak baca? Are you ready to answer the questions together? Kita ada questions 25 until 34. You ready? Jom kita jawab. Again, a little reminder. Don't forget to look at your instruction. Dia nak berapa batas kataan? As usual, no more than five words untuk information transfer yang kedua. Tak lebih lima. Okay? So, number one, jom jawab. 
Number 25, the joget, fan, dan, fan dance, and baratan natyam are examples of, ha, what are they? Examples of what? Apa jawapan semua ni? Ah, as usual, if you can write the full answer using, uh, if you can write the full answer in five words, then write the full answer. Kalau jawapan penuh tu buat lima perkataan, tulis jawapan penuh. Kalau tidak, awak pendekkan sikit jawapan tu. So what's the answer? You can get the answer from paragraph one, ten seconds, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, the answer is Malaysian ethnic dances. Kalau you letak ethnic dances pun diterima. Okay, the best specific Malaysian ethnic dances. All right, good job everyone. Nanti teacher akan highlight kan sebab kita dah tak banyak masa. Masa teacher upload jawapan nanti teacher akan uh, highlightkan sekali dia punya clue. All right, number 20. Six, patutnya bukan 25, sorry. <laughs> Number 26, according to the writer, how does dancing rejuvenate us? Kalau menurut penulis, menari ni akan bagi kita tenaga dari segi apa? Ah, you can get the answer in the second paragraph if I'm not mistaken. Ya yeah, betul, perenggan kedua. So apa jawapan? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the answer is this part right here. It invigorates us physically, mentally and socially. Itu jawapan. Itu clue awak. So you just write physically, mentally and socially. All right. You need to This is 26. All right. Number 27. Dancing blank weekly can give us the benefits of a workout. So, menari berapa kali seminggu yang bagi kita manfaat bersenam tu? Ah, you can get the answer in the third paragraph. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, good job everyone. The answer is dancing two to three times a week. It becomes a beneficial workout. That's your clue. So, jawab je. Two to three times a week. Ataupun two to three times. Okay. Dancing two to three times weekly. Dapat? Good job everyone. Pandai. 28. Rejuvenate tu apa? Bagi tenaga. Alright. Dancers are blessed with a balanced and more fluid walk and movement. Due to. So penari-penari ni diorang, diorang punya perjalan, uh, cara jalan, cara bergerakan tu lebih balanced, lebih fluid. Sebab apa? Ha, apa jawapan? You can get the answer from paragraph. Let me see. Paragraph three. Yes, paragraph three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Yes, the answer is due to years of dancing. And I so kat sini. Ah, as a result of years of dancing. Dances walk and move in a more balanced as well as more fluid manner. That's your clue. Jawapan awak, you just write years of dancing tadi. Good job. All right. Next one, number 29. What can we achieve by dancing after a busy or stressful day? So awak dah stress satu hari tu, awak menari. Apa yang awak dapat? Ah, what can you gain from that? You can get the answer from paragraph 4. Perenggan keempat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. The answer is it brings you stress release. Meringankan rasa stress awak tu. Ha, ini dia. Yeah. Stress release. Boleh? Okay. So that's, that's your answer. Just write stress release. Okay. Next one, we will feel what through dancing apart from gaining grace, poise and posture? Ha, apa jawapan? Awak akan rasa apa melalui tarian ni? You can get the answer still from the same paragraph. Masih lagi perenggan yang sabar. Apa jawapan dia? Feel apa? Ten. Ingat eh, keyword kat depan tu feel. Rasa, rasa apa? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Good job. You feel happier and healthier. Ah, itulah jawapan awak. Okay. Don't write this part. Sebab yang ini bukan feel. Ini bukan rasa. Ini apa yang awak dapat. Dia kata feel. Rasa. So this is your answer. Okay. So again, <coughs> we will feel happier and healthier. Okay, number 31. Oh, dah pukul 9 dah. So, I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the answers. Nanti awak boleh download jawapan, okay? So, teacher tunjuk jawapan terus lah. Number 31, the answer is social dancing allows us to socialize. Number 32, the writer describes dancing as creative, entertaining and relaxing. All right, number 33 and 34, sebelum teacher akhiri class, teacher nak remind everyone, please make sure that you read the instruction. Sometimes they want a word, sometimes they want a phrase. Kalau dikata a word, make sure jawapan awak satu je perkataan. Kalau dikata a phrase, frasa, maknanya boleh lebih daripada satu perkataan, dua ke tiga perkataan lah. Hati-hati. So anyway, number 33, on a regular basis, the answer is regularly. And the last one, the feeling or mood of a place or a situation. The answer is atmosphere. Habis. Ha. So later, don't forget to download your answers. If you are going to go to sleep soon, download esok jawapan pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Okay? Dah habis. So that's the last session that you have with me. Dah habis dah. Next session, I will come with other tutors, inshallah. Kalau nak jumpa teacher lagi, we can see each other next year, inshallah. You can subscribe to my classes or any other tutors classes. Take until then. Please take care of yourself. Semua jaga diri, have a good rest. Have, make sure you eat well as well. Jaga diri, okay? Bye bye, semua. Assalamualaikum. Good night. Minimum. Tata.